I'm in Hedgesville, West Virginia today. Um, not on the river. Give up, gave up a day of fishing to uh, come and get inked by my buddy Jed. Hey man, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. You ready to get some tattoos done today? Yep. All right. My name's Jed. I've been tattooing for 11 years. Um, I got started into tattooing by doing some show flyers for uh, punk rock shows and just painting and drawing a lot. Um, and the more I got interested in art, the more I kind of try to apply that into tattooing with painting and sculpting and uh, just everyday drawing and whatnot too. So, so I think we came up with their uh, basic plan of attack here. This is the reference photo, just the line drawing that we took of Jeff on the Susquehanna River. Um, I cut it out just to illustrate how we would lay over this onto the pattern of the fish. But the issue that we came with, up with was that it got too mumbled and it was too hard to uh, distinguish the markings of the smallmouth. So what we decided to do was come up with we collaborated a little bit, um, come up with just a fine art drawing, just kind of freehand it, of these two fish more or less using these markings and the contrast with this kind of coloration. And we'll freehand the markings inside the profile. And just do a couple tricks as far as uh, colors, you know, just to get the contrast in there so it looks good on skin tone, not just on paper. Then underneath of that, we'll do the scientific name of smallmouth below it, whatever font we choose there. So it should tie together really well. Right now we're pouring some uh, different pigments, different colors. And we may use some kind of unusual ones just to get a different effect in there that you, you normally wouldn't think of as seeing in a smallmouth. But when it's all complete, it'll work really well together. Um, just for adding to the contrast or making it more of a tattoo image than than just a picture of a small mouse so it looks like it, it is natural on the skin as well all right we're about to get started here um maybe a little bit tender to get started with until you get used to it but it shouldn't be too painful just a little bit irritating okay. all right yep cool How's that? That works. The day that we were out was such a finesse bite, and I think when it's low and stable like that and hot, when it gets hot, they will get. You know, they just shut down. I don't know whether it's because it's summer and they, they eat at night and they don't eat during the day, but it was definitely the case that day. And what, the week or the week before when you got all those 18s was, was it rising water? What was going on? Was it up at all? No, the water was actually uh, down substantially. Was it windy? In the morning it was, but then it calmed out and just was really hot and steady. The, yeah. the action never calmed down. Can I clean it off now? Yeah, you can clean it off. Oh, he's pretty. I think I will do a little bit of that purplish blue like up through here. Okay. If you're cool with it. Just yep. Some flash color. It's definitely tiger stripes. Kind of resembling it a little bit. Yep. All right, we finished up here. Let's take a look. Jed, I'm gonna let you hold the camera. Yeah, lots of color in there. 
and it occurred to me that as far back as Jed had to go with these rods that I got really long rods so I didn't realize it was gonna go back there looks nice I'm, I'm really pleased with it so overview the scientific name for smallmouth bass and the, the profile of a kayak angler which is me holding up a big smallmouth and then the scale pattern and I for the uh, smallmouth bass pretty pleased. Thanks, Jed.